sitting in a really bad posture, you know, like in a recliner chair or, uh, uh, but that's what I want to say that if you really want to use it, then please understand that alignment is important. And this is not only for CP, even with kids with autism, because if you are training a child for AC, the child is going to use it for communication because it means it is throughout. So then it's very, very important that where you place it, right? If the child is all the time using it here, right, then it is going to really hamper the cervical spine. So it's important that we have a wall mounted, a wall, uh, like anything to mount on, you know, the tabs, right, where the child is using it. So that child is not losing out on his posture and doesn't develop a secondary problem, like pain. Here is the person. And uh, here we have the environment. And then this is the occupation. So when all three interact equally, that's when here, this area that you get is the occupational performance. What we try to look at from an OT perspective is the occupational performance should be bigger. So for that to happen, the overlap of person, environment and occupation has to come together.